Só uma pintadinha. Obrigado, Tio Júnior. Meu pai, o nome do cara nem é Júnior. <risos> I don't know what she said because I don't speak that language, but I can tell you one thing. Crazy is universal. I can tell you another thing. You ever heard the saying she could suck the paint off a Cadillac? I feel as though this might be true in this situation. Does size matter in a guy? I'm sorry to be artificial, but a little bit. But you know they can't change the size of what they're born with, right? Yes. So we're going to measure your waist. Come on. Oh, Here. No. So just take it back. Size doesn't matter. Okay, size doesn't matter. Hell yeah. All right, you have a good day. Does size matter? I'm gonna be honest, we can't do that. If she only care about you ringing the doorbell, that's cool. But it's other things, once you open the door and you walk through the living room, you get to the kitchen, there's other rooms in that house that if you open those doors, amazing things can happen. Went out with my friend, stayed out all night, went out again the next morning, like I was just outside. So I text him Sunday night and I'm like, hey. And he's like, hey, what's up? And I was like, oh, just getting ready for the week, you? And he was like, he actually didn't even respond. He just liked the message. So I was like, da, 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 good talk. We good? And he said something really snarky, like, related to me not hitting him back. My hair is a mess. Related to me, like, not hitting him back. And I was just like, I'm sorry. Are you are you mad? And he was like, no, nah, I'm good. I've not heard from this man since. And it's like, first of all, Judge Judy, relax. We're strangers. Like, I get it, but it's never that serious. Initially, take your L. This is going to be a controversial statement to a lot of you guys out here, but this right here is why men play so-called games. Yeah, I remember a couple of videos ago I said that I never double text. This is exactly the reason why. I remember I used to be talking to these young ladies. They'll be at my house. And of course, we were dating, so it wasn't serious. You know, I'm speaking to other women. You're speaking to other dudes. It's fine. But I remember dudes used to be hitting them up while they're chilling with me. And they were just playing, ignore it. You're not finna play games with me. Granted, when I was single and stuff like that, the phone wasn't a major part of people's lives as it is now. Back then, you would be on your phone, but you really only used your phone to communicate. You want to get on the internet, you had your laptop. Nowadays, you're on your phone 24-7. So it would hit worse if I text you and you don't respond. It is a level of respect. I feel as though if you can't speak right now, tell me that you can't speak right now. Don't ignore my text. That's that you feeling yourself you smelling yourself too much ain't nobody smelling themselves on my dime ain't nobody gonna hop on you nah he good he good i want my apology nigga i want my apology 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 where my apology? Where my apology? I'll stick them niggas back on you again. First of, what did we do? Why did you punch us in the face? We're just here alone for the ride. Secondly, you know, he didn't run. He could have ran. It looked like they was finna jump him. He could have ran, so he stood his ground. But thirdly, taking this from my point of view, I'm a grown ass man. I got a wife. I got a son. I got a family. So the moment you and your compadre think that y'all are gonna jump me is gonna turn into a scene out of Desperado. One. Oh. All good. All good. Oh. All good. Oh. A little, a little shoulder. Oh. I think it dislocated my shoulder or something. Oh. Okay. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, I know what I'm finna say, but at the same time, I be seeing black folks doing this too. This is a parkour, right? Hopefully I'm saying it the right way. But the fact that this man said, I think I dislocated my shoulder, but I'm good. I'm okay. That speaks to how tough he is. Shout out to him, bro. But <laughs> white folks, y'all are fearless. Necessary. I really like your piercing. Sorry? I really like your piercing. A piercing? Piercing, yeah. This one? Yeah. It's this one, this one. This one. You're so stylish. What do you do for a living? I'm rich now. Oh, I'm rich now. Where from? England. Ah, you're from England. Yes, where are you from? Uh, originally from Belarus. Belarus? Yeah, I speak Russian. Ah, oh, right. Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit weird. How long have you been here? 
in Obama in like two years. Two years? And are you going home? Yeah, no, I'm just going for a couple of days. Okay. Yeah, and back to Obama. Uh, my family and daughters. Oh, okay. No, I don't visit family. So I was here like two weeks. Two weeks? How was it? Diving. Very nice. Very really like Is it was first time? No. No, I think no. Do you travel a lot? Uh, yes, I do. I do. I, like I didn't tell my wife and a few of my friends that, you know, if I was single, that's what I'd be out here doing. I'd be out here securing them retirement checks. What's that movie, Deuce Bigelow, Mel Gigolo? Yeah, I'd have been a gigolo, man. The way she was reacting, it's like she felt something she hadn't felt in a long time. She ready to clear them cobwebs in that cave. I have no quarrels or no issue with you securing the bag on some preparation age. I know it's about 25,000 of you guys that watch these videos that still haven't subscribed. Hit that subscribe button. Come on now, we almost at 100K, man. We almost at 100K. And follow me on the gram. Follow me on Instagram. I'm fucking dead, I just straight up hit on me. We talked for like two seconds. He was like, I'd like to keep in touch. And I was like, absolutely not. All I do is eat cheese, chicken, lift weights, and read. No. This is the thing I be talking about. A man finds you attractive, he comes up to carry a conversation with you, he wants to keep in touch with you, and the first thing you do is come on the internet to flex. But then y'all wonder why dudes act the way they act. Take it as a compliment, somebody finds you attractive. Boof, you sure do got bad luck in Texas, you heard? First you came out here and got shot, now they broke in your car and took your insulin. I got your insulin right here, homie, you heard? I don't want it, you can have it for free. And I ain't send nobody to take your shit. I got your shit back, though, you heard me? Yeah. Come get your insulin, but don't send none of your bodyguards. You hit my DM and you come get it, you heard me? I got your insulin right here. This ain't no joke, no prank or nothing. Come get your shit. But be careful when you're in Texas. Don't nobody want to hurt you, though. Boof. We get on the internet and we try to make everything look so cool. And then we don't realize how stupid we look. A long point in time, it was cool to catch a rapper slipping and steal his chain. And coming on the internet and boasting about the crime was cool. You know, clout chasing. But this probably the lowest form of low I've ever seen. Clout chasing about somebody's insulin? Are you serious, son? Are you serious? Like, we really, like, think about it, bro. We really going in cars and stealing their insulin then going on the internet and talking about how yo i got your insulin back now i don't think you stole the man's insulin but at the same time maybe you had good intentions to give him his insulin back but it's not what you say it's how you say it the way you came off it was how folks would come off when some when they snatch somebody's chain y'all tell me if i'm tripping our culture as black americans is crazy the hip-hop culture is crazy the things that we glorify in the hip-hop culture is crazy we glorify killing people that look just like us we glorify selling drugs to people that look just like us i'm gonna say this i'm gonna say this, this is the last thing i'm gonna say i live in the state of georgia i can legally carry my gun so a while back, probably like two, three years ago, I was smoking, I was having a conversation with somebody. And I was like, bro, you know, when I envision having to use my gun on somebody to defend myself, the person I envision looks just like me. Whenever I envision having to defend myself using my gun, the person I envision looks just like me. And that's sad. That is sad that somebody who could potentially be my brother got me scared for my life. Bro, you never know, bro. Our ancestors could have came off the slave ship together, bro. Our ancestors could have been on the same plantation. Damn near 400 years later, I'm worried about you killing me. I'm worried about you robbing me. I'm worried about you taking me away from my family. Hip-hop culture is the perfect example of let them destroy each other. Then we'll come in and take over. So I'm here with my chiropractor, Erica, and I want to show her my small water bottle. This is my small water bottle. I can just, you know, easily calm and... Talk. I'm really... <laughs> You're drinking all of your water. Oh, yeah. Yo, y'all tall motherfuckers always try to find a way to flex. You hype. Hmm? Um, water. yeah. Mm hmm Very good. Would that drown you, or...? Um, I don't... <sighs> So how many ounces is this? This is a gallon. 128. Yeah. Yep. Um, I drink one and a half of those a day. Wow. Yeah, I can barely hold it. Yeah. My feet, hand does not fit around it. <laughs> Wait, can you compare? Can we? Can we, yeah. can we do this? Wow. <laughs> and like, can you easily palm this? <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a struggle. 
The crazy thing is, right, if you look at the height difference, she's probably like 4'11". But it'd be women her height, and I'm not saying specifically her, but it'd be women her height that would literally say, I want a man like that. Would come at me in my five five foot six frame and say, oh, you too short. I'm taller than you. But no, she want a man that's seven one. She want a man that's six nine. They walking around, it looked like he walking with his daughter. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Y'all y'all know how you y'all know. Y'all know it's it's a war going on out here, man. And us short kings are not being appreciated enough. Rick, stop it. Walk my phone down. What's up, cuz? Yeah, what's going on? My mom, man. Man, what's happening? You went walk my phone down. Cuz. Never gave up. Never will. What's happening? Built different. Bread different. From this woman right here. Bread different. From this woman right here. I'm God. Think you what? Stop it. Think you what? Even this woman right here. Bread different. Bread different. I'm God. Y'all from the city. Love you, woman. I love you. Ah! I can understand him being excited for getting out of prison. It said, my big brother home after 15 years, love you to life. So he did 15 years. 15 years is a long time. How old is he, bro? He don't look that old. So he might have went in when he was a teenager, bro. Oh my God. Son, all right. I don't know if I told y'all this story before, but my wife's cousin, her, her husband, well, her late husband, because he passed away, I believe, two years ago. He did 18 years in prison. He went in when he was 18. When he came out, you know, he was about... 36, you can tell that he was institutionalized. Institutionalized, but still had the thinking of the 18-year-old that went in. He went in 18, came out a, came out a 36-year-old man, but his mentality was still 18. Rest in peace to my man Crash, bro. One of the funniest individuals I've ever met, bro. He was telling me stories about being locked up, and the way he was explaining... Matter of fact, this, might, this one might take a while. We still got some more videos to react to, but... Just bear with me, okay? So, he was explaining to me his mentality when he went in. He was like, yeah, when I was locked up, I was a shooter. Now, me not knowing too much about prison lingo, I'm thinking, damn, how he got a strap in, the, in prison? But a shooter means that, you know, he, he was Zorro. You feel me? He was in there slicing shit up. He was affiliated. So he was saying that whenever it was work needed to be done, he was the first one in line. Like, yo, even if they didn't want him to do it, he would just volunteer. Yo, I got it. He gets out of prison after 18 years. He got married. He was working and he was having fun. He was trying to make up for the last 18 years that he missed. And two years ago, I'm not sure what transpired, but somebody shot him in his head five times, left him on a porta potty in New Hampshire. That's a crazy way to go out. The messed up thing is, bro, the last conversation we had, we had right here in this room. We were smoking and I was telling him, yo, bro, you have a story to tell, bro. You should really start doing the videos that I'm doing. I'll help you do the videos that I'm doing, bro. Because a lot of people want it. Yo, some of the stories he was telling me was crazy. He was basically explaining how inmates would have their wives come in or their girlfriends come in and he would be in the the visitation room, see her, figure out a way, you know, slip her a little note or something like that. And in the next visitation, she coming to see him. He was explaining how they was taking down some of the prison guards in there. I'm talking about, he was like, yo, some of them guards in there was fire. And I could imagine, bro. The women in the New York City Police Departments are fine as shit. A lot of them are fine as hell. So I could only imagine what the COs look like. Bro, he had so much stories. I just wish he was here to tell them. Tell y'all something. You know what? I got a Willy Wonka joke and I can't say it. I can't say it. I ain't gonna say it. Uh, let me ask y'all this question though, fellas. Would you invite her to the chocolate factory? When I see people complaining about working two or three jobs just to make ends meet and they're able bodied, 
and they're young, child, if you don't quit them damn jobs and go join the Air Force or go join the Navy or the Space Force, maybe, and get you a check on the 1st and the 15th and get you some benefits, I don't understand some people who will trade all of their time for less. It may come with some sacrifices, but baby, one thing about it, two things for sure, the military will never have you wondering where you're going to sleep, where you're going to get a check, or what you're going to be eating. I agree, but then I disagree also. So, I agree that if you're out here having a hard time making ends meet and you feel as though your best bet is to be in the streets, your best bet is to be a, a drug dealer, your best bet is to be out here stealing cars, your best bet is to be out here just committing crime, go to the military. If you out here priding yourself on being a shooter and you out here talking about your, your Drake and your Switch and your Extendos, and go to the military, bro. You know what I'm saying? Use that for the good of our country instead of trying to kill people that look just like me or you. Now, what I would say, because at one point I wanted to be a Marine, so I wanted to join the military. And I have a lot of friends who are in the military. I have friends in the Navy. I have friends in the Marines. I had a friend who is, well, he used to be in the Special Forces. I've met people who I work with that were in the military also. And once you hear these stories, I feel as though it'll change your mind, okay? I've heard stories of... One of my friends survived a roadside car bomb. He explained how they were not expecting it. Another friend of mine explained how, I don't want to say this on YouTube, but basically, you know, the enemy over there used kids. And you can see where I'm going with that. They used kids. So he was explaining that. That haunts him to this day. Um, I had another friend who was in special forces. He said all my missions were at night. He explained how... He What's up, wife? Nothing, what's up with you? Oh, I'm recording a video. Oh, okay. What you that's doing? Cool. I'm on my way home. Oh, alright, that's cool. Hey, so, your son, I tried to give your son some of the food, and you know what your mans did? I ain't gonna lie, I tried, I tried to threaten him, too. I was like, alright, well, if you don't eat the food, the PlayStation is gone. You know, I, I tried to be one of, them, one of them type of parents. You know your man threw it in the trash, right? Then came down here talking about, I'm all done. What food are you trying to get now? The couscous and um the beans. Why? What you mean why? It's food. I, I know he wasn't going to eat that. Okay. <laughs> I made that for you. Yeah, but it's food. What you mean you knew he I was going to eat that? I'm just saying, like, I knew he was going to waste it. I wouldn't even try because, you know, I mean, it's your money. But I know. <laughs> he was... He's right. He's right. But anyway, yeah, um, yeah. with that being, he going he going to need something to eat, cause he I ain't I am not going outside. I refuse. I told him I'm not going outside to buy him no food, but you know I I probably could do it through you. So just give him something to eat. Okay, do so you want something to eat while outside? What do you? Mm, nah, probably just some some water or something, like some uh, smart water. Oh huh, well, if that's the case, let me get it. Let me get a um a burrito with um it's, a grapefruit Izzy. All right, and you want cash on me? Tomorrow, Father's Day. But you said I'm trying to. That's why I called you. So I called you to see, like, did you want me to buy the fight on TV? Don't, yeah, like, did you want me to buy the fight? Like, did you want me to buy the fight? Um. I got to see if there's an app I could download on the PlayStation for that. Because I think that shit is pay-per-view. And, you know, we we just, we don't have cable. We just have internet. Yeah, because we have to, you, you want to take, take him too to the bar at night to watch the party? Yeah, why you can't go to the... Um... Well, we used to go. You seen people camp there? So? We go to Hudson Grill. Serious? I'm dead ass. That's it. okay. So that is that what you want to do? I'm I'm really trying to figure this out. If you if you do that for me for Father's Day, that's fine. You you take me, you take us out, and we watch the fight. That 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 could be my Father's Day gift. 
I'm cool with that. You know, I ain't big on like having getting gifts anyway, so that that'll be it. Okay, so that means you're gonna spend money. This whole not to get that. You say if I'm gonna spend money on the food you about to give him today? I say you're gonna send money for this food I'm about to get now. It's Father's Day weekend. Okay. 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 You you said okay about eight times. You are you okay? I am okay, but it's just you know I you know how I be. You know, I be with my hand out all the time, so it's just like we should have this money. I'm, I'm about to be out with my hand out in two weeks, but I'm gonna do it today. Like, you know, my mind just logically be trying to make sense of certain things. But you get what I'm trying to say? Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm still gonna do it because, it, like you said, it's Father's Day weekend and stuff. Mm-hmm. Even if that's what I like. That means it's two weeks. I'm a little short, and I have to ask you. It's all right, and I and I I got it. I got it. Exactly, I know you got it. I know you. I got you. Don't. Yeah, you stress. All right, all right. Listen, you stressing about the wrong things. When you don't got it, I got you. So stop. Okay. Okay. 